Hi, I'm Jeff Bulbrook, Senior Market Manager for Blash Precision Ceramics Chemical Processing Division. We wanted to take a few minutes to discuss in detail process improvements that may be realized utilizing a Blash vector wall, not only in simple combustion situations, but in complex configurations as well. There are many process technology licensors that specialize in applications involving complex combustion reactions in large reaction furnaces. Many of these licensors technologies were developed many years ago, long before the advent of computational fluid dynamics. Regardless, the goal of the licensor remains unchanged, and that is to make their particular solution the most cost-effective they can in order to compete successfully against other licensors in the same space. The way to do this is to maximize combustion efficiency, and in order to do that, one must take into consideration the three T's, time, temperature, and turbulence. Getting the right reactants together for the appropriate amount of time at the required temperature will provide for an optimal outcome. This is easier said than done in environments where reactants are being introduced from all directions at differing temperatures and with differing needs for reaction time. So how is combustion efficiency and therefore furnace performance measured anyway? It starts with something called residence time distribution. The residence time distribution of a chemical reactor is a probability distribution function that describes the amount of time a fluid element could spend inside a reactor. A narrow distribution means that all the elements are in and out in about the same amount of time. A broad distribution means there is large spread between the times elements can spend in the furnace. Some get out very quickly and some spend a very long time in there. Every reaction has an ideal residence time distribution. And ideally, the furnace is designed to ensure that each element is in the right place for the minimum amount of required time. You can think of it in terms of microwave popcorn. Ideally, you want all the kernels popped and none burned. The popcorn setting on the microwave allows you to do that. Older microwaves can give you some unpopped, some burned, and some just right. This is the equivalent of a furnace with a broad residence time distribution. In a simple combustion exercise where you're burning a single compound that is relatively exothermic, you need only be concerned with optimizing the residence time distribution. You want a steep, narrow curve centered on the required residence time. In Klaus units, this means acid gas only, and in acid plants, the combustion of sulfur only. The way to achieve this is to create a plug flow configuration. Plug flow is defined as a series of infinitely thin, coherent plugs, each with a uniform composition, traveling in the axial direction of the reactor. As it flows down the tubular plug flow reactor, the residence time of the plug is a function of its position in the reactor. Each one of these plugs spends the same amount of time in the furnace, hence the tight residence time distribution. In more complex combustion exercises where there are multiple compounds or they require different conditions in which to combust, it is necessary to create a more elegant solution. In Klaus units, this generally means cases where ammonia from the sour water stripper, or BTEX, is being combusted with the acid gas. Or in acid plants, this refers to the combustion of spent sulfuric acid. In Klaus, this has a direct impact on the amount of ammonia that may be efficiently destroyed in the SRU, higher zone one temperatures, and in acid plants, a direct impact on NOx generated, lower zone two temperature. Current reaction furnace technology accomplishes this separation through the use of something called a choke ring. A choke ring is a circumferential restriction placed in the center of the furnace in an attempt to create a level of back mixing and some separation between the front and back halves of the furnace. This restriction also creates a region of higher velocity flow down the center of the furnace, and this flow not only carries the higher temperature into zone two, it interferes with the mixing of the secondary stream into the main flow and creates two distinct residence time distribution peaks. This negatively affects overall furnace efficiency and can increase the potential for damage to the tube sheet refractory. The Blash vector wall, unlike a choke ring, can efficiently create this high-low temperature profile while creating enough back mixing in the first zone to encourage complete combustion, while still maintaining the plug flow configuration downstream necessary for optimal throughput. In close installations benefiting from a split flow approach, 
The vector wall has allowed several customers to increase the amount of ammonia bearing gas combusted by 50% while increasing overall throughput of the furnace by as much as 30. In acid plants, NOx has been decreased by more than half. For more information, give us a call.